Hey everybody, it's Dave Mattis with Remax of Reading and the Dave Mattis team, and I'm here today with my September 2019 Berks County real estate market update for you. I'm gonna cover a couple of different things this time. Uh, I'm actually gonna feature one specific school district after I do my, my norm, normal market update, and then I have one more piece of info for you, so stick around and, and uh, check this out. Uh, we're kind of leading up into that time period where uh, people start to ask, well, do you know? Do people really sell houses in November, December, January, and so on? Of course, you know my answer is always yes. But I actually have some statistics that'll kind of uh, blow your mind and just give you an idea of how many houses or what percentage of houses are listed each month. So I'll cover that in a second for you. Uh, so let's just jump right in. This is again the Berks County overall uh, real estate market update. So days on the market this year are down to 46 versus 53 this time last year. So that's been you know continuing. Uh, to outpace last year's days on the market. Uh, the sold homes, they're only down 1%. So this year we've sold 39.80 and last year we had uh, 4,001. So it's actually not even quite 1% uh, down. Um, the difference really I'll get to in a second is that the inventory is just way down. Uh, so listed year to date also, uh, well, not that far off from last year and it's actually up by 1%, believe it or not. So we've listed 5,199 this year versus 5147 uh, this time last year. Uh, there are currently 760 homes pending in the multi-list and that's just residential. So that's actually uh, quite a substantial number of homes uh, waiting to close. So if we can keep that pace going, we're gonna end up with uh, you know, a real solid year. Uh, I would say probably over 5,000 for sure. Um, current active inventory here in Berks County as of, uh, I think it was just yesterday that this was printed out, is 1153. So 1,153 homes total in the county. So that includes City of Reading and new construction. Uh, so it's, it's a little tough to find houses. So again, the difference and what we talked about earlier where the paces of the sold house and the listing home, listed homes are actually pretty close. Last year, this time, we had 1,740 homes for people to choose from. This year, it's 1,153. So that represents 2.8 months worth of inventory. I think it was only two months uh, last month that I gave you this report. So that's, that's improving if you're in the position where you are looking to buy a home. So I think it's a great time. And of course, interest rates have really hung in there. So still a good time to buy. So if you are a homeowner or you're thinking about buying a house, uh, this is another reason to jump on the bandwagon, so to speak. The average sales price last year was a fraction under 180 at this time. Right now, it's a fraction over 190. So that's actually a 5% increase, and Berks County hasn't had that kind of an increase uh, in quite a while. So that's overall, but that's very, very promising. So I'll hit the lowest and highest sales prices. Uh, really no change there. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat the highest, but the lowest is $10,000 that has sold so far, and the highest is $2,300,000, and that was a very large farm in Bethel. And then lastly, the Sterling Mansion in the city of Reading is still in a pending status, and I think they were asking a million seven or a million seven fifty for that. So, so that's the Berks County update. So I'm going to just dive into Exeter Township because one of my uh, future clients here was asking me about the stats in Exeter, and they heard that the values were way, 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 way up. And they are up, but it's really just fractional up, believe it or not. So I'll start with uh, some of the same stats that we cover. So days on the market is uh, 57 last year versus 42 this year. That's really huge. Uh, average sales price last year was 191879 and this year it's 192994 So it's up a little bit, but not as much as you'd think. Or if you're listening to the news and listening to the national statistics, you'd think, you know, things were going, you know, through the roof, but that is still a very positive, very positive sign. That's actually higher than the county average. Uh, inventory currently is 72 versus 104 homes uh, for people to choose from this time last year. And then listed year to date is almost neck and neck. This year we've listed 374 in the Exeter School District and last year was 380. So I hope that helps if you are an Exeter uh, Township resident or thinking about moving there. Uh, if you want me to dive into your specific school di district, you know you can always just ask. Uh, last but not least, this is um, what I talked about in the very beginning of the video where people wonder if, we ha you know, if we're able to sell homes over, you know, Christmas holidays or when there's two feet of snow on the ground? And the answer is yes. And my one of the responses that I give is that the buyers that are out there are serious and, and we are well short on houses for the people that are sitting there right now waiting to find the right house. So there's no question that we're going to have a good fall and hopefully that'll mean we have a great start 
uh, to 2020. But uh, just to give you an idea of, in a calendar year, how the percentages work out. So this is the percentage of homes that are sold in what month? January 5.7%, February 5.7%, March 7.8%, April 8.3%, May 9.7%, June 10.3%, July 9.5%, then it starts to taper off. Well, actually, I'm sorry, August goes up to 10, and then it starts to taper off. September is 8.8, .8, November 7.7, .7, and December 7.7. .7. So pretty impressive when you look at, look at it that way. You know, the difference between August, which was 10%, and January was 5.7. That's a pretty big gap, but November and December were 7.7%. .7%. So there you have it. Uh, the, the Burke County real estate market update for September of 2019. As always, if you need help, please just reach out and do me a favor, like this video, share the video, and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you.